it's raining again. I'm supposed to build a bike rack and start working on the cockpit of my boat and replacing the seat. And I don't think I can do it in the rain. So I'm running errands and thinking. I got this cool sweatshirt from Knowles. Let's talk about it. So every Christmas or January, I suppose, Knowles, who I work for, sends out a staff gift. It's actually usually a really nice gift. This year it's this sweatshirt, Milk and Knowles logo on the front, Wilderness Medicine logo on the back. Um, it's a, a really nice sweatshirt. In the past, I've gotten uh, a really great coffee mug that I really liked. I was really upset when it broke. And um, a Knowles clipboard, and I've gotten a Knowles hard drive, a Knowles buff, which I still wear. Um, I wear this one more now because it's UV and insect shield. Um, so really great gifts, but it got me to thinking about something that I wrote a couple years ago on my website. I'll put a link to that up here someplace or somewhere around, or how about down there? I'll put it down there. And um, so this is sort of a continuation on that thought. So I work in the outdoor industry. I've worked in the outdoor industry for a long time. I get a lot of free gear. And honestly, the bulk of the stuff that I get for free is, is not good stuff. What happens is a, a vendor for a company called a vendor rep will come and talk to employees, to outdoor educators, or people that just work in the outdoor industry. And they wanna to talk to us about their new product and how cool it is, and we should talk to people about it. Um, and at the end of that conversation, they'll open up a bag or dump out a bag or something, and it'll be filled with, with swag which is, it's gonna be stuff like keychains, or beer cozies, or bottle openers, or whatever. A lot of the stuff is beer related, because apparently everyone that works in the outdoor industry is a, a beer drinker, a massive beer drinker. They can't stop beer drinking. I don't, I don't drink beer. I drink whiskey, actually. Outdoor companies should step outside the box and think of something new to give us. In any case, they, they offer us up all this stuff. Uh, sometimes it's a t-shirt, and really it's a t-shirt or a pile of t-shirts that made me start thinking about this. I was doing laundry a few years ago and folding laundry, and I realized that I had like 35 t-shirts that I got for free. And I wear mostly t-shirts, so it was super convenient. But I realized what was going on was sort of an unspoken agreement. The equipment company would give me this t-shirt. I would be thrilled to take this piece of clothing for free. I would then wear this piece of clothing. And subtly, I'm saying that I represent or recommend this particular piece of gear, which may or may not be true. But I, in thinking about it, I realize that this is really kind of a crappy deal. I am essentially becoming a walking billboard for your product. And I, I, that's not a good deal. I'm, if, you're, if you make a piece of gear and it's a good piece of gear, I'm gonna talk about it. So I stopped taking the beer koozies because I don't drink beer and the keychains because I've got a keychain and, and the t-shirts. And I got rid of all those t-shirts. I donated a lot of them to charity. I turned some into rags and the old crappy ones I threw out. But it, it made me think about sort of how we represent gear in the outdoor community. I, um, that was when I adopted a, a uniform. I, I wear strictly gray t-shirts and blue jeans when I'm at work, although I do have outdoor specific clothing like quick dry pants for when I'm teaching backpacking and paddle related clothing when I'm paddling. Um, and so this way I was out of that loop of, of representing companies, of being a walking billboard. And so it got me to thinking about why do we do this, right? And we do this a lot in our lives, even if we don't work in the outdoor industry. Something that really drives me crazy is uh, you buy a, a Yeti cooler or a Yeti mug. Let's say a Yeti mug you buy for 40 bucks. And, um, 
and it comes with a sticker and so you put that sticker on the back of your car and like so you you love your coffee mug so much that you want to represent the company on the back of your car I don't really understand that except that I do because it's got nothing to do with the mug it's I want entrance into this cool outdoors club right that's why you see vans and cars and pickup trucks and stuff covered with stickers on the back I want to be in this club of, of cool things or I want to be represented by this company that does cool things and I'll be honest with you I'm in that club it's not that cool of a club you, you want to join a cool club go climb El Capitan that's a cool club those people know how to have fun so that's I think a big part of it and that's why you see people wearing like Nike logo stuff I want to be cool like insert athlete's name here. Um, another one that sort of gets me is you go out, you buy a car, and you spend a lot of money on your car. Say you spend 40 grand, and on the back of that car is a sticker for the dealer that sold you the car. You gave them $40,000 for a car, and you've got to advertise for them as well. They should be advertising for you. You just gave them 40 grand. Sometimes it's a sticker, which I can tell you from experience is really hard to get off. Sometimes there's also a license plate border around your license plate from the car dealership. That, that's like craziness. Why, why do I want to... That's not a club I want to be a part of. The car dealership club? That's a lousy club. So I think a lot about the stuff that folks give me. And, and in fairness, I, I get gear for free. I mentioned that. And some of it is super useful for me, and I use that gear. I've gotten stoves for free. I've gotten water filters for free. Um, and for me, that works out because it's something that I can use in a class or I can use on a trip. It's something with real value, unlike a beer koozie or a keychain or even a t-shirt. None of those things have real value to me. So I feel like that's a fair trade. You're giving me a piece of gear I actually need. I'm gonna use it on some sort of trip or, in a, or at least in a class. And it's, it's giving me value. And if it's a good product, I'm gonna talk about that. A, a great example of that is Delta Kayaks. They loaned me a boat for a trip I did in 2015. I was a longtime user of Deltas. We needed a boat. We had someone on a trip that didn't have a boat. And they loaned me a boat to use for that trip. And what they got out of it was that the boat was in or three Delta kayaks because we already had two we needed a third um, were in a, a ton of videos and a thousand Instagram posts and blog posts and and Delta kayaks got tons of free advertising that I was happy to do because they gave me something of value another good example of this is um, I have the ability from where I work to I get a discount on gear but I also, I have the ability to do what's called pro deal. And a pro deal, if you're unaware, is I can buy something directly from a gear manufacturer. And it, it's a discount that varies from 30% off to 75% off. And the reason that they do this is that they want the gear in the hands of people who are using it and talking to other people. If you think outdoor educators and outdoor guides don't sit around talking about what gear works and what gear doesn't work, you're crazy. And I'm happy to talk to people in classes or on trips that I'm doing about what gear I use and what gear works and what gear doesn't work. Um, and so that's why they give us the ability to pro deal gear. And I'll tell you, pro deals are responsible for the success of, for the I should say the early success of GoPro cameras. Um, GoPro gave the employees of the company that I work for a really good pro deal. I want to say it was 60% off the original high definition GoPro. And I jumped all over it and it was a great camera and we all had fun. Everyone pro deal the GoPro camera. And um, we all made videos and shot pictures. And um, But we talked to everyone and everyone saw us using them and GoPro exploded. And I really think that that's because of all of the employees of this one particular company, there were thousands of us, that all bought these cameras and went out and shot videos with them. So we can have a huge impact on companies trying to leverage a new piece of gear. And I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. 
but don't give me a beer koozie and tell me that you that that somehow beholdens me to talk up your product. Um, it's it's just not an equitable trade, you know. So the sweatshirt. So every year I get this sweatshirt, and it brought me back when I put the sweatshirt on. I was like, hey, this is a nice sweatshirt. Hey, this breaks my no billboards rule. So in thinking about it, I have no problem representing a company that I think does a good job, and I think Knowles does an amazing job. And so in thinking about this sweatshirt, I think I will wear it primarily when I'm working for Knowles, but I'm wearing it today because it's a cold, rainy day, and it was a nice, new, clean sweatshirt. So, yeah, I guess I break my own rules, but, but it's a really nice sweatshirt. And Knowles offers something of value. If you're not familiar with Knowles, it's the National Outdoor Leadership School. It's who I teach wilderness medicine for. And in essence, they pay me, and so they are sort of paying me to represent their brand. And I'm okay with that. I like what they do. So I guess the way that I feel about it is, if it's a brand that I like, if it's a brand that I think that's doing good, then, uh, then I'm okay representing them for free. It is something to think about when you're when you're putting on that t-shirt or or putting that sticker on the back of your van it's something to think about maybe the rain will stop i can work on my boat another video that's coming up is uh my my prep for my Knowles course uh which i'm doing as a student uh that should be fun that should be interesting all right i'll see you outside just super cool sticker so i'm breaking my own rules but you know no one's perfect <laughs>